Hello, I'm Renee Yager from Efficient Power Conversion Corporation, and I would like to give you an overview of our latest technological breakthrough, which will result in a quantum leap into a new universe of performance. We will be talking about our Generation 5 EGAN technology, which cuts the size of our devices in half, but triples their performance. This reduction in cost and improvement in performance creates a virtuous cycle that is expanding the gap in both performance and cost between EGAN FETs and ICs and the aging power MOSFET. First, let's take a minute to talk about how we got here. With EPC Founders' background firmly routed in high volume power management semiconductor development, manufacturing, and management, the thesis for EPC was, and still is, to develop products that are both higher performance and lower cost than comparable silicon. Our first generation, launched in 2010, fulfilled the first half of this promise. By the fourth generation, we crossed the cost threshold and there is no looking back. Now with this fifth generation, we open an even wider gap in both performance and cost, thus reinforcing our claim that GAN will crush silicon. Oh, and even with this quantum leap in performance with the Gen 5, our EGAN FETs are still 250 times away from the theoretical performance of GAN compared with silicon, so there is still a lot of room for our Moore's Law to continue. Our initial launch involves three devices, shown here, ranging in voltage from 100 volts to 200 volts. The EPC2045 100 volt 7 milliohm device and the EPC2047 200 volt 10 milliohm device are the first two available. Each have development boards to enable fast prototyping. These devices and boards are available for immediate delivery at DigiKey. This graph shows the normalized area of a chip compared with the voltage rating. We are comparing the best MOSFETs shown in blue with the EGAN FETs from 2011, 2014, and our Generation 5 launching now. The separation in this die size figure of merit between silicon and EGAN FETs is growing rapidly. It now sits at 16 times at 200 volts and four times at 100 volts. However, this comparison ignores the superior performance of the EGAN products and their low inductance chip scale packaging. To compare performance between silicon and EGAN technology, we need to look at a few more figures of merit. This chart shows the simplest switching figure of merit that multiplies the gate charge times the on resistance. Our Gen 5 products enjoy a 10 times advantage at 200 volts and a 5 times advantage at 100 volts. Output charge is important for resonant switching applications. In this case, EGAN FETs are 3.5 times superior at 200 volts and 2 times better at 100 volts. Let's look at the EPC2045, our new 100 volt 7 milliohm Gen 5 EGAN FET, in more detail. To do that, we built a pair of circuits that compare the 100 volt EPC2045 EGAN FET with the best in class 100 volt silicon MOSFET. Much care was taken to create comparable layouts, as can be seen in this image. Here is the turn on waveform with the vertical scale at 10 volts per division and the horizontal at 5 nanoseconds per division. We are switching about 50 volts. The EGAN FET is switching in about 2 nanoseconds while the MOSFET takes an additional 5 nanoseconds before initiating turn-on, followed by a 4 nanosecond rise time. Not only does the EPC2045 switch much faster than the MOSFET, but due to the chip scale package, there is significantly lower overshoot of voltage. This faster switching speed translates into efficiency, as shown in this graph. In a 48 volt input and 5 volt output buck converter operating at 500 kilohertz, the EPC2045 has a peak efficiency that is 2.5 percentage points better than the best MOSFET available on the market today. This efficiency gain translates into a 20 to 30 percent reduction in power loss for this benchmark example. However, the power density, which is a combination of the improved efficiency and the much smaller EGAN FET footprint, is about three times higher compared with the sluggish and big MOSFET. We expect rapid adoption of this part in 48 volt input systems, such as those used in open rack servers. Automotive applications such as headlamps, LiDAR, Class D audio, and wireless charging are also good markets. As we move to slimmer form factor tablets and notebooks, there is pressure to adopt USB-C ports 
that can be used to charge as well as transfer data. This increased power requirement, combined with an already tight form factor, means that the power density leap provided by Gen 5 EGAN FETs can be crucial to reliable implementation of this new USB-C standard. Now let's look at the EPC 2046, our 200 volt, 25 milliohm Gen 5 EGAN FET in more detail. In this case, we are comparing against a 200 volt rated MOSFET, but it has a slightly higher 32 milliohm maximum RDS on. This two scale image illustrates an idea of the radical difference in footprint between the EPC 2046 EGAN FET and the much larger but state-of-the-art MOSFET. In fact, you can fit 12 of our EPC 2046 FETs into the same footprint as a single equivalently specified MOSFET. Yet, the efficiency of the EGAN FET leaves the MOSFET back in the last century. In this example, we build buck converters with an input voltage of 160 volts and output voltages of either 12 volts, 28 volts, or 48 volts. In each case, the efficiency was improved with the EGAN FET by up to 4%. These 200 volt generation five products were designed for a whole host of applications, including multi-level AC to DC converters, synchronous rectifier outputs, solar microinverters, electric bicycles, and wireless charging. Now let's look at the EPC 2047, our 200 volt 10 milliohm Gen 5 EGAN FET in more detail. Comparison with the closest 200 volt silicon MOSFET is even more extreme than the prior example. In this case, the EPC 2047 is 115th the size of the silicon MOSFET, yet has far superior performance. To illustrate this, 14 of our devices can be placed into the footprint of the silicon part, and there is room left over. The list of applications is similar to the EPC 2046. Additionally, EPC's EGAN devices have exhibited extraordinary resistance to radiation under exposure to gamma as well as single event testing. This makes these parts ideal for space applications. This product selector gives an overview of the key characteristics of these initial parts from this new generation technology. Each part has a development board and in the case of the EPC 2045 100 volt 7 milliohm part, there is also a demonstration kit with a buck converter. And there's even more to come. In addition to expanding the line of products to higher and lower voltages, we are under development of integrated circuits using this new technology platform. As we discovered with earlier generation devices, integration can cut power losses by almost half in certain higher frequency power conversion applications. And then on to generation six, smaller and lower cost again. For more information, please visit us at epc-co.com. Thank you.